Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another top five video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite pieces from Palace Skateboards' Summer 2023 collection. Well, before I start recapping the Summer 2023 season for you guys, I've got to do something else. I've got to come out publicly and thank you guys for constantly supporting the channel over the past week. As in the past couple uploads, I asked if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,660 subs before the end of July, and you guys said, no problem, we've got you covered. <laughs> and we obviously have hit 3,660 subscribers. So I wanted to come out and thank the public and private subscribers for subscribing to the channel and helping the channel out. It's awesome to see us hit these milestones, guys. I'm very thankful to see us, you know, hit these milestones and keep going, you know, above and beyond. It's awesome to see. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, in this video, that means I'm going to set the new milestone, which, as always, is just going to be five more subs on top of the current milestone. Uh, so it is going to be 3,665 subs there. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3665 before the end of July. Now we can start talking about it. So, welcome guys. This is, I guess, the final video talking about Palace's summer 2023 season, as it's done and dusted after nine weeks. I think it's nine weeks off the top of my head. <laughs> I have to remember now, after I think nine weeks, we have the summer season concluded. And of course, in this video today, I'm gonna to be talking about my top five favorite pieces from that season. Now, I have to be completely honest with you with this. I think this list that I'm gonna be talking about, the five pieces that I like, if I could remove the criteria of, I like these pieces are pieces that I would personally wear myself, I feel like this list would be very, very different because I think across the summer season, there are some fantastic pieces that in this list I can't mention because personally I wouldn't wear them, but I still think they're fantastic pieces. So that's why I'm saying that if I remove that criteria where I wouldn't have to wear it or like I, like I didn't have to see myself wearing that piece or something like that, then I feel like this list would be very different. So. Yeah, uh, it was it was kind of a bummer because I really wanted to pick some of the pieces that um, yeah that I just thought were fantastic, but I would just never wear. But then I thought the list, you know, every other season I've always picked pieces that I would definitely wear. So it was a tough one. It was a tough one because there were some really awesome pieces this season that I definitely wouldn't wear, but but just liked because I was like, damn, that is a sweet ass piece. Um, so I just thought I'd give you guys, I guess, that little precursor there because yeah, I feel like this list would be quite dramatically different if I had removed that criteria from it but then I wouldn't feel right removing that criteria because every other season I've done it but anyway just thought I'd mention that um we can have the conversation in the comment section below on like what my list kind of would have looked like if I didn't have that criteria but we'll keep it down there uh as for the list today these five pieces I'll talk about what I like about them how I would rock them everything like that um We'll start off with my least favorite out of the top five to my most favorite, and we'll go from there. I think you guys know what my number one is because I loved it a lot and highlighted it a lot in this season, but maybe it's a surprise, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. Let's get into it though. Let's start talking about piece number five. Start it off at piece number five, guys. We have the Start Up Al hat coming in the various different colors it comes in. Uh, we have it coming in a white, we have it coming in a pink, and we have it coming in a black. Personally, out of the three colors available, I think you know what colors I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the white or the black. But I think this is a really nice hat that I would actually wear in the summertime. I really like the color choices of the, uh, of the logo. I think it's a reference to, again, I thought it was the Google logo from ages ago, but it's definitely a reference to some kind of logo. But... I just, I can't pick that reference. You guys might have to fill me in on that one. But like outside of that reference, I still think this is a nice hat with a nice palace logo on it. And I didn't need much more than that. I definitely a piece I could see myself rocking in the summertime. I'd probably wear the white one the most in that summertime, but um, the black one would also be a nice piece as well. 
I like the logo and whatnot. Yeah, and no complaints about this one. I really like this hat. Um, I had to mention it as piece number five. Up next, for piece number four, we have the Palace Drews six panel. Is it? Yeah, Drews? Drews? I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, it's a collaborative release from what I know. Uh, six panel in the navy and various other colors it comes in as well. I really like how the font is kind of stacked on top of each other as if each word is a, like a book and they've all just slapped it on top of each other. I like the placement of like just all the different words and how it all kind of like plays out here. I think it's just quite nice. I quite like it. Uh, it comes in some very basic colors. It's got some logos on the back there. Comes in a tan as well. It comes in a white. And yeah, back to the navy. I think the navy is my favorite out of all three colors, but I'd give the white uh, definitely a thumbs up as well and say this is a nice piece. And the tan one, it's okay. I, I have no beef with that. I, I think I definitely had to put this one at piece number four because I don't mind the tan color in this scenario. Whilst when we looked at the previous hat, the PAL hat, that one, I don't think I would wear the hot pink in any scenario. But the tan one, I could actually see myself wearing that. Either way, I think this is just a very nice palace hat with a nice logo on it, and I really enjoyed it. And I, I guess the navy one just really spoke to me. I really like the white lettering, the logos. As I said, I like how it looks like a bunch of books stacked on top of each other, but, but not perfectly, I guess, um, stacked. So they're like slightly leaning like out, out here and there. If you kind of get me, it kind of looks like books that are not perfectly uh, stacked on top of each other. And I kind of like that look. I think that's a cool way of approaching it. That design makes me think of that. I just enjoy it because of that. Uh, yeah, would definitely wear it. And I had to mention it as piece number four. For piece number three, we have a pair of pants, which I mean, if they came in a 38, I might actually be able to fit into them because they've got some thick ass thigh area right here. So that might actually work out for me. But getting into it, we got the Palace Drewers Jean coming in a brown corduroy. I think this was exclusive for the brown color. I don't think the other ones come in a corduroy as well. Yeah, the other ones don't. I, again, let's just make note of that. The brown one comes in a corduroy. I think it's really fun to have a jean silhouette done in that material choice. And it's a really nice shape as well. It's very wide. It's very uh, wide around the thighs. It's going to work perfect for me. That's always a struggle for me. Moving forward, we have it in a medium black rinse wash. I think it looks really nice. I love black denim. I wear my black Levi's 501s uh, all the time. Like fantastic denim. Love them. Would love these as well. Love the co-branded leather patch on the back. I'm an absolute sucker for that, by the way. I love a leather patch on the back like that. It's just, it I, it, it just does something. I just love it. <laughs> uh, we've got a medium rinse wash here, very much like a stone wash. I really like that color. I think that color is really nice. I wish I had more denim in my wardrobe that was like that. I'm just going to have to wear my Levi's denim for like 30 years and eventually it'll look like that after washing it. But... I really love that wash. Fantastic. Love that very light blue color. It would work very well in summer. And because it's a baggier fitting denim, it's not going to feel very tight on you. It's going to allow you to wear it in summer as long as it's not super heavy, as long as it's not like, you know, like something ridiculous, like a 20 plus ounce denim or something like that, which I can't imagine this would be. Um, I think it'll be fine. Like you'd be able to wear that in summer, but awesome. Awesome all round. I love all three colors. They're all easy to wear. The brown's awesome. The black's awesome. The blue's awesome. I want them in all three colors. Would definitely wear this denim. Um, I have no complaints about it. Love the silhouette. Love the colors. Love the uh, material choices. No complaints. Love it. Had to mention it as piece number three. Now this one, I think I was kind of drawn to this because one of my team leaders at work he was really into streetwear in his, um, I guess, his early 20s and his late teens. He used to love Palace and Supreme. He still has a lot of it in his wardrobe, and he actually wears a lot of it to work. He wears a lot of the overshirts and stuff to work. And I guess that kind of encouraged me to get this, because I'm like, ah, oh, you know, Alex at work. He always rocks Palace and he's working. Like, I love that. I wish I could do that too. <laughs> it's just a lot of my Palace pieces are not... I guess very corporate friendly or fit the vibe, I suppose. Uh, and I feel like something like this would be fun and something I could definitely rock at work with no issues. Uh, what we have, 
For piece number two is the Palace Oxford shirt. It comes in a couple colors. It comes in this multicolored one here with all these different blues and various other colors in between. We've got it coming in just a light blue, easy, no dramas, Palace logo on the pocket, happy days. Uh, we've got it coming in a soft white, which looks more like, I suppose, a cream, I guess, in my view. And that's it. All three colors, fantastic. But definitely the multicolored one was the one that spoke to me the most because I love its like patchwork design and having all these different like Oxford shirt colors all over it. I think it's just a lot of fun. Like it's a fun shirt that I would wear in summer in the office because then I wouldn't have to wear a blazer over the top of it. The big focus on it is just like how fun and crazy the shirt is. It's not too crazy where all the conservative old people are going to be like damn that's too adventurous for me but it's also not too it's also i guess um well sorry i guess it's not too adventurous where that's going to turn off all the old people and it's not too conservative where it's going to turn off all the young people and say that's just a boring old button-up shirt so it like it, i think it's going to please like both ends of that spectrum there and I think it's just going to be a fun shirt that I could wear in the office looking at it in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> I just like, I think it'd be so much fun to wear this at work in all the colors, but we know the multi would be the one that would like stir up the most like hustle and bustle in the office. So uh, yeah, definitely got to go with that one for sure. I love it. I had to give it some praise for them doing an Oxford shirt and I had to mention it as piece number two. Well, we knew it was coming. We knew I was going to pick it. <laughs> I mean, like, you saw me when I did the lookbook video. My reaction when I did the lookbook video, it like... It'd be rude if I picked something else for spot number one after that. Like, it's, you know... <laughs> it's just such an awesome piece. What we have is the Catchet Bomber Jacket. It comes in quite a few colors, and I love, I think, all of them. I think... Uh, we've got it coming in a cement. It's got this uh, very nice green uh, detailing across the arms, across the waistband, and across the wrists. Uh, it features a palace logo on the front. And then on the back, love it. Fantastic. Cursive palace logo. A dog jumping up to bite a frisbee. And the in-store locations for palace at the moment. London, Los Angeles, New York, and Tokyo. Uh, it comes in a couple other colors. It comes in a Jaffa, which I could see myself wearing this. I honestly could. I could see white tank top, white shirt, super baggy, very light blue jeans. If anything, the light blue jeans at item number three that I talked about. And just like a really nice brown belt. And in the summer, having it super baggy, the tightest part of that outfit would be the jeans sitting at my waist with the belt. But apart from that, it would all just flow and we get it really big. We get this in a 2XL if it comes in a 2XL or maybe in just an XL, an extra large, um, if it only comes in an extra large. But I want it big. I want it super, super big. I could see that as a look. I could see that as a look that I would wear in summer. Um, and looking at the material choice, it's probably like a nylon or very light cotton, um, maybe a polyester. It could be worn in summer unless it's like above 30 degrees which might actually be the case in summer this year um but we've also got it coming in another color i think this is probably going to be my favorite we have it in the navy um just easy awesome coloring i can't fault it i can't fault this piece i love the detailing on it i love the graphic on the back of it all three colors of it slap all three colors just go so hard i love it I'm a sucker for varsity jackets. I'm always going to be a sucker for varsity jackets. Um, I just love that style. It's just fantastic. It's just awesome. But um, yeah, maybe you don't agree with me. Maybe you have a very different top five list. Maybe you completely agree with me and you really like the top five pieces that I've picked for Palace's summer 2023 season. Either way, I would love to hear all your thoughts on any of the pieces that I've talked about. Um, any of the, any of the comments that I've made about any of the pieces, let me know anything you have to say about any of the pieces or comments that I've made about the pieces down in that comment section below. Well, that's it guys. Uh, that is my top five favorite pieces from Palace's summer 2023 season. Again, as much as I love that list of five pieces and I would wear all five of them, I feel like the list would be very different if I include if I remove the criteria that I would have to wear the piece because there were some awesome pieces like some awesome shell jackets, track jackets, and just other pieces in the season in the summer 23 season. But 
I just don't wear that type of stuff. Like literally looking at my wardrobe there, you don't see any of it. It's all very heavy leather jackets, cotton jackets, basically no polyester in there. It's yeah, it's very different. So there's that, I suppose. But um, yeah, I, I, I love all five pieces. I would love to own the Catcher Bomber, the Oxford, um, the Denim, two hats. They're awesome pieces, but um, I'd love to hear from you guys because I love having these conversations with you guys in the comment section below about these brands. What are your top five favorite pieces from the summer 23 season? What did you like? Did you like the collab stuff? The New Balance stuff was really cool. Um, the van stuff was really cool. Yeah, there were some cool collabs this uh, this season. I just don't think that I would wear any of it personally. And the seasonal pieces definitely spoke to me a lot, as you can see. But yeah, let me know what your top five favorite pieces from the summer 23 season are down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering the upcoming Palace seasons, you know what I'm going to ask you for. I'm going to ask you for the three indicators that I won't stop asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous, well, sorry, at the start of this video, I wasn't saying previous uploads, but no, at the start of this video, I am looking to hit 3,665 subscribers before the end of July. We are five subs off from hitting that milestone, guys. And hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. That's everything I got to say about Palace's Summer 23 season, guys. Um, to add some further comments unrelated to the uh, Summer 23 season, the uh, cardigan from the Spring 23 season is on sale right now, and I have been kind of tempted to pick it up. And some of you guys have been asking me for it, uh, or like, you know, thoughts and if I picked it up or not in the comment section below. I'm literally on the fence about it because an undercover piece in a size five came up that was ridiculously cheap. And I'm like, oh, which one do I go for? Do I go for the awesome palace cardigan or do I go for the undercover piece that maybe one day I'll put in like a collection or a museum or something? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll just flip a coin and see what it, we'll see what it lands on. Heads for palace, tails for undercover. Who knows? We'll, we'll see how I, how I do it. But um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that for you guys in this video today. But uh, that's everything I got to say about Palace and more specifically the Summer 23 season. Very keen for the next one and to cover it for you guys if you give me all those indicators. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. So until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Top 5 video, until the next Palace Skateboards video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.